down since. Day four ish down since. Day four ish down since. Day four ish. Light them all up. Light, light them all up. Uh, 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 here we are. Day four of five days with WWE like 2K. From somewhere. 20 is my career mode. Here I am talking to Peyton Royce. Calgary. Alberta, Canada. Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scratched out miserable face you're always making. Wait, what's IBS? What's IBS? I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Yeah, don't act like you forgot, bro. That was a couple chapters ago, my guy. Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. I already beat you, though. Whoa, don't put me in no match, bro. I will quit it. I will quit it. Okay, okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and fight Triple H. I mean, talk to Triple H, my bad. I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT. Huh? Possibly ever. Wow. But thanks to your friend sticking okay. her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. Well, I will, my guy. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? <laughs> he licked his face. <laughs> no, he did. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of, too. Nah, he, he a punk. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. So we, he just going out like, I am, all right. All right, X-Pac. But he going to sit up there on the Hall of Fame seat talking, telling stories, acting like we all cool, right? All right, cool. Bet. Let's go. Bet. 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 These things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I know, yeah, you know, red suit. Being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, "Look, it's red on the red carpet," I'm going to Courtney. strangle them. Um, red. Well, there he go. There goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost Byron, 15 so years, <laughs> and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families. Look at the Miz over there. A pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It what really is, is tag Byron. teams. But just because our in-ring careers are over, we right, can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's that why that I'd blue? like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, mm -hmm. then you know where to find me. Hire your Are you boy. Are trying to take my job? Yep. What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay. Well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. <laughs> why are you hating? What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe Word. I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? Is that no. Mickey James? When I said I was done, I meant it. Why Mickey Red. James was a Miz? Trey. Oh, the team. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, like I'm in that witch hat. Keep in mind, it's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Oh, okay. Great to see you too. That's see? that's fine. That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Who got knocked out? Did I get knocked out? I probably got knocked out. <laughs> I probably got knocked out. I definitely was the one who got knocked out. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Real Seriously? one. Seriously? You should stay. For what? You never know what could happen. Plus, it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. Tough. You, know, you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again. Tough. Right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Tough. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? 
Watch this. Hey, Ricochet. Good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. Where are Ricochet? He almost got your name right. That's how you feel, Ricochet? That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or worse, ignored me. Tough. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying. That's how you feel, Ricochet? But I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? Oh my goodness. <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proves you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Watch me. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home. But keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand. Don't make this about you. you have nothing to worry this is about, about me. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? I made you. And now I'm worried. Hey, man, it's for real. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. Nah, son. Wait a second. What's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is going to dominate. Dominate. There's something I need to say. Tell him, when Trey. I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. True. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader. Preach. everyone else do their thing while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Eight. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring. Or I don't have the right look. Or I rub someone the wrong way. Let them know. Maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. <laughs> I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? How? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map. The dust Let them know, bro. Only problem is... I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, Gasp. the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. The Velveteen no are, are Dream. Handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. Yo, no shut up, Corey. To be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional go down there, way of doing right things. Go down Never be my caliber of breach. Hit it. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. Look at this man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. Yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on this person. You never know when you might need it. Whoa, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. What a bad man, I guess. It's kind of weird. Let me get the handcuffs back, bro.
If you want the dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the dream in a match later tonight. You got the dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. All I do is beat you, but that ain't nothing. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career that out ain't of defying nothing. expectations. Light work, I don't hold care it down. how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Well, I'm still in the ring, fool. Previously scheduled match. Let's not. Let's just go into this storyline. I really don't feel like fighting Rhea Ripley again. <laughs> can can I be the center of attention for once? It's all. It's, it's literally been all about Red. This whole damn story. What the heck was all that? Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe Tell him. Give me a heads up next time you're going to hijack the show right before my match. You got this. Well, you, there she go. Making this about her again. All we want to do is match. Skip this match. We apologize again uh, for the delay in bringing you this number one contender. Get Rhea Ripley to red health. Boom. Hands the raise the champion. Women's raise champion. champion. Whatever. Whatever. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Rhea. What's good, Rhea? Rhea Whipley pants, you know man. Hi, right, bro. Going back to last year's May Young <laughs> In her ring gear. All the way to, um, all the way to her, um, whatchamacallit. All the way to her belly button. It's popping. Yes. We did see the height on that. Ouch. Blocked him. Big blocks, big body blocks. Beautiful right there. Beautiful suplex right there. That was that. That beautiful suplex. And Red's really go. I think she has. I think she had. Nope, but she did not. <laughs> I knew she was going to miss. It was too far. <laughs> it was way too far for little old Red. Little Red Riding Hood. Riding off on the top of the hood. Look at this. Here, it's about to hurt her back. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch mm. Back suplex on the apron. Red going in. Oh, come on, sir. Come on. I wanted to do that to you. Not in the kidneys. LCD book. What's good? We going up and we going down. Dang, how much strength does she have? Her, 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 her bar is going down slow. Changes her fortune there. Come on, son. Why you keep blocking every time I want to do something specific, though? Like, when I have a specific idea to do something, she blocking. I need you to stop it. There we go. I thought she was going to block. Look at this. Ain't that your special? Ain't that a signature move? Why is it? Why just do put... I didn't adjust any of the movesets. Why do they put signature moves in in the um in the moveset? Like it shouldn't be. This is, why is it the same moves, bros? Like who made this? Who made this game? <laughs> why did you make this game this way? Signature, oh yeah, yeah, that's my other signature. That is a dumb signature. I need to change that. Perform a standing strike while Rhea Ripley is in the ring. Well, let's get that over with. Hit her with that standing strike. He should be working, but he making beats. He should be working, but he making beats. Why am I singing? Do a G if you know what that's from, though. Why would you pin her like that? Uh, they both lost. But why would you lay on her like that, Red? You stupid. Red, you stupid. So, who's the number one contender? Uh, I don't think we it don't matter. Come on, let's get on with the Velvet Team Dream storyline. <laughs> You still talking? That's very wrong. Nobody wants to hear your voice. Continue. He should be. 
working but he making boots if i remember correctly this is actually a very long chapter so i might have to split this up into day four i mean day uh four and five and this will be the first chapter i split in two days yeah that's if i remember correctly i might be remembering incorrectly but if i remember there's like a lot of stuff to do in this one yeah Here comes the match with Velveteen, eh? Why'd I just go Canadian on y'all? <laughs> there he is. There goes that man. Zachary. Get your boy. Get your boy. Get your boy. I had to change this part because uh, amazing, stupid John Cena hat is on the wrong damn Michael, John Cena. Case, so I put safe. that key fleet part right here. Yeah, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah. There he go. There he go. Yeah. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. Bad months and not watch him. Don't he look so cool? Don't he look so cool? I'm a cool looking brother, ain't I? Ain't I, ain't I, ain't I, ain't I, ain't I got it going on, young Dro. Here on NXT. Here comes the it's Velvet dream Team time. Dream. Hit it. Hey, look, it's the intro. One of the intros. I'm a Velveteen Dream in real life. Hey, the security guard made it real weird. Because he was like, whatever you do, don't touch the Velveteen Dream. And then, you know, the. <laughs> White people in front of us, you know, they got they took offense to it. And was like, oh, can we just get off the line? And I was like, I was like, I was like bro, he's just in character. Like, he just that's how he is. But uh, when we went up to Velveteen Dream, he was actually really nice. He engaged in the high five, so I gave him a high five. He asked me what my name is, like Zachary. And he was like, pleasure to meet you, Zachary. And then uh. He took the picture and that was it. <laughs> it was dope. You gotta keep in mind, he was also a good guy at this time. But she is still now. He was on two lines. He was also on a line to get his autograph. I didn't go on that line because I wanted to meet different people. The day I went, the second session was a lot of NXT superstars. And I think it was because the Hall of Fame was on that same night. So I had, so they had more NXT guys than actual WWE guys. So I met a lot of NXT guys in front of me access to be honest. Which I was fine with. I met I met Keith Lee. I don't even know what I'm talking about. This. Y'all can go ahead and watch that video from back in the day. Y'all can go watch that Just Told Me. I'm pretty sure I did one. Y'all can go check my Instagram to see them pictures. You feel me? You see who I met because I met a whole bunch of people, bro. I paid for two sessions, Brody. I made sure I had back to back sessions because I wanted to. I wanted to meet as much people as possible because I remember that first time I didn't get to meet as much people. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Mm, what's good, Velveteen? What's good? That's Patrick Clark from Tough Enough, bro. To, to this day, I don't like Paige because um, <laughs> because Paige got Velveteen Jr. off of Tough Enough. She basically got him eliminated. And I'm still salty about that. I am still salty about that. This guy trades only here because his friend got him a job. There is no way he's gonna beat Velveteen. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. I believe him a year older than Velveteen Dream. He's making a statement here with this attack. Same age as Mr. Rush. Whoa, bro, chill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Take them road dog punches. Bam. Red health again. Whoa, what you doing, As, sir? That's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. See, see, that's that's what I can't take because that's not that's not a blockable move, bro. That's not a blockable move for the for for me. I can't block him. Drag him. What the heck? I can't block him dragging me. Man, shut, your, shut your mouth, Corey Graves. I'm so sick of you. Amazing reflexes on display. Boom. Oh, Big God, DDT no right there. What's popping? He's taking some good hits. Big DDT he right there. What's popping? All the way for the top. Dream just oh my God, she blocked it. Got out of the way. Move, referee. Referee, why are you so close to oh, us? Oh, right to the skull. Oh, there go that DDT again. <laughs> That's the people's up. The people's elbow. What the heck? There's gonna be a lot of offense in this match. Why he just mixed it with um Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock? Guys, at the risk of sounding like an hilarious move. Can I do this? It seems pretty clear nope. that Velveteen Dream absolutely oh, shoot. thrives oh, shoot. on attention. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Dang, I didn't get it. I didn't get him in time. I tried it though. I tried it. I tried it. I really tried it. A lot of mercy to be shown I tried here. it. I really tried it. Slowest move ever. What's in that, Mr. Kennedy's finisher? I'm not tripping. What the heck? And he kicks out. Clearly not enough damage done. But did Mr. Kennedy have some weird finisher like that? I can't remember though. It's been so damn long. Too quick to catch him there. Swings and me and me becomes Lights another DC. Another DDT. Let me hit you with a signature move real quick. You only got one. That's oh Lord. You going to have a sniffing neck for a while. That's funny. That's funny, Michael Cole. That's funny. Set up. And again, Why'd you block my finisher? Why you couldn't let me do my finisher, boy? Come on, son. What a the only game that doesn't let you hit your... DDT. Signature right after hitting your finisher to add impact. Well, I tell you. Well, I tell you. One more. One more. One more hit. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think his opponent was expecting that. Why'd you go outside, bro? Come on. The back is like. Back in the ring now. Patience, patience, patience. I, I had, I did the patience thing, and he still was like, no, I can't hit you. I can't hit you. Yet another oh my God, Velveteen Dream blocks everything. One step ahead of each other. Jeez, the wheel. We not stop blocking. Oh my God. Isn't that his finish signature move? If I lose right here, right at the end. Oh my God. I was, gonna, I would have been so mad right there, bro. Gets out of the way. Thank God. <laughs> oh. Trey setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it twice. Oh man, you're so observant. Velveteen breaker. Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll so find let me get this straight. You made me do round. all of this just to lose. Wow. They made me do all that just to lose. Don't let me get. Don't let me beat him and down to yellow to just to make me lose, bro. This might put an end to Trey's hopes of competing in the That's Dusty stupid. Classic. Do it, Dream. Shut up, Corey. I'm so sick of you. Purple Rainmaker. Thankfully, this is all over. It's not over yet, dummy. Come on, cover. Is that my Jordans, guys? Is that my Jordans? Some custom peas. Whoa, Wait, whoa, what's happening? What's Velveteen doing? No, no. He's telling the referee to count. What? Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. Hey. I got the dream's attention. What the heck are you thinking? <laughs> the way he did it is less. Maybe Valentine wanted to be Trey's partner. After exactly. All. So shut Velveteen, your mouth. But that guess is as good as any. I can't believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confused. Let's go get that dusty. Aside. You're looking at the classic. newest team to enter the Dusty Roads Tag Team Classic. Hey. Good thinking, Velveteen Dream. Good thinking. Good thinking, guy. That's an automatic dub. He know that. He know that's an automatic dub. What's next?
Why is heavy machinery here? Let's talk to them first. You looking kind of fresh over there, Red. I see you. Why is it taking so long to get over there? What the heck? Bro, did the game just glitch on me, bro? I ain't got time for this. Game really just glitched, guys. Hold on. Let's go talk to Red. Maybe the game hey, won't freeze. I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. You're lucky he thought it was good TV or you might be out of a job. Bro, shut up. Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great. That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean, even if? I know, right? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. Oh. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm going to go out there and sign the contract. Why are they mixing that's both storylines into one? Making this That's why this story was so long. This chapter is so long. Like what if you brought your May Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. Don't play mind games. I'm not going to play mind games. I'm cool with that. I appreciate the advice, but stunts like that are more your style. I'm gonna keep it professional and predictable. <laughs> so what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo or the handcuff move or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. I should focus on my match, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Let's go talk to Velveteen Dream. I let you win last week because I noticed. The Dream thought about what you said, and I want to prove that I am the real Dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. That's what you say, bro. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dreams way. Done. Done deal. You do all the work and I stand on the apron. Done deal. Heavy machinery. Bro. The game literally won't let me talk to heavy machinery. Oh my god, cuz. Just extra time being wasted, bro. The time I don't have right now. Alright, continue, because I'm not doing that crap again. This is it, guys. We're ready to I, get I'm just gonna zoom into the match like this. Make sure it's. Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for what? I have to do a full on tag match, bro. This is the last match. You know what? I'm done, guys. I don't feel like doing this match. So, yo, that's. Day four or five. That I just don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow, and I'll be on day five, which means we're guaranteed. You hear me? We're guaranteed to get five days this time, because um, because uh, I'll probably finish out that chapter, which means we're not doing the the match that I thought we have. So no more. Hopefully, we're definitely getting five days. So y'all, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out one.